Padre Pio had a prediction about the three days of darkness, and in this video you will see what the AI generated after using the prompt asking about the three days of darkness. And I even asked about the United States of America, Russia, China, Iran, Israel, Europe, and England. I was curious about what the AI could come up with on this prediction, and now I will share this amazing video for you to watch and enjoy. Just remember, this is only for entertainment and doesn't need to be taken seriously. Now, will the three days of darkness actually happen? That is the question. And how many people would survive such an event? I personally don't know how to take this prophecy, but in truth, I don't want to close it out of my mind. For one, I have no clue if this prophecy could come true, or could this prophecy be based on the fact that the government is right now saying that we will have been infrastructure down. And by the way, they mention in their information that we can be taken back to the Stone Age. Well, Dennis Quaid mentioned on Tucker Carlson about a solar flare that can take out our infrastructure and leave us without power for days or even years and claims it happened back in the late 1800s. Personally, and this is my opinion, I call this whole thing BS because of one thing that I hear all the time, that it's going to be the terrorists who take down our infrastructure or the simple fact that we will have an EMP event that would take out our infrastructure. All this could happen from what I hear, but what if the three days of darkness are what they're truly trying to say will happen, but they are using all these things going on to hide the real truth from the public? Now, like I said, this is just speculation and shouldn't be taken with a grain of salt, because I really have no clue what would happen or even if this prophecy would happen at all. I also have my questions about Padre Pio, and yes, I heard that the Catholic Church, from my understanding, made him a saint. He also had the thing with stigmata, and they had people come in and try to prove that he was a fake. However, based on their findings, they all came back and pretty much said it was legit. However, the thing that caught my attention more than anything about the man was that they mentioned that he was also a mystic. From my understanding of the Bible, you couldn't be into that kind of stuff, but if I'm wrong, please leave it in the comments down below. Now, the visions he got, he claimed or they claimed, came from his stigmata condition. The Vatican initially imposed severe sanctions on Pio in the 1920s to reduce publicity about him. He was forbidden from saying mass in public, blessing people, answering letters, showing his stigmata publicly, and communicating with Padre Benedetto, his spiritual director. The church authorities decided that Pio be relocated to another convent in northern Italy. The local people threatened to riot, and the Vatican left him where he was. A second plan for removal was also changed. Nevertheless, from 1921 to 1922, he was prevented from publicly performing his priestly duties, such as hearing confessions and saying Mass. From 1924 to 1931, the Holy See made statements denying that the events in Pio's life were due to any divine cause. Festa was a physician who examined Pio in 1919 and 1920. He was obviously impressed by the fragrance of the stigmata. In his report to the Holy Office of 1925, Festa arrived at a benevolent verdict and attacked Gemelli's critical view of Pio's stigmata, with theological arguments playing the lead role. Now I must end this right now, for this is about the three days of darkness. But one thing to keep in mind. Not all men are going to know the future, and the only true man to know the future itself would be God himself. On note, there are people out there who are having dreams that a day of darkness is going to happen, and one thing to keep in mind is that you should never fear what is going to come but only fear God himself.